Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. But before we get into it, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to all my channel members whose names are appearing on screen now. If you wish to become a channel member and support the channel, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. The first tier will get your name on screen at the beginning of reaction videos. The second tier will get your name on screen plus access to bi-weekly members only live streams. And the third tier will get you all of that plus a members only video on the weeks where I'm not live streaming. Usually these videos are life updates or get ready with me style videos but it sometimes it's recipes or training things it depends really you obviously don't have to become a member to support the channel just by simply watching uh you are supporting the channel but if you want to send a super thanks you can do so too and you can always comment like and subscribe if you wish to support the channel further now let's get into the video Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Leona, I'm also an Ashikar Transformations. I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. And today we're gonna just do a reaction, not necessarily health and fitness one. We're gonna be looking at some Salah and Chantal. I have been keeping up with things guys. They uploaded a vlog and I wanted to look at it because she's doing a lot more food content. And um, you know, some of, some of that is kind of in my ballpark. Do I think she's losing weight? Absolutely not. Do I think this is a marriage of love? I don't think so either, but besides that point, uh, I guess we'll get into it when we get into it. But before we do get into it, Violet, if you want to be part of my next round of the Phoenix Rising, that will start on the 16th of January, then be sure to email me on the email that's in the description down below for an inquiry. Um, you can have accountability check-ins, you can just buy a program, you don't have to do the competition. It, many options are available, and um, that's about it really. So. Let's get into this video and uh, see what uh, what they have to do, what they have to say. They're going to the pet zone. They seem to be going to a lot of these pet zones. Is there nothing else to do in Kuwait? I guess not. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love animals, but I don't know if I could go to these tiny little zoos all the time. But let's have a look anyway. Can you buy me a hamster? Oh, you want hamster? Yeah. Okay, why not? We're gonna find out. Let's go. So scripted and awkward as well. Hello guys, welcome to the biggest pit zone in Kuwait. Yes, welcome and let's go explore all the animals together. Let's go. Let's go. A goldfish. I think they live about 10 days and then you have to flush them in the toilet. Or maybe these ones oh, really? live longer. Yeah, it's sad. I think goldfish get really old, no? Isn't that what they normally... I remember like when um, we used to go to like Chinese restaurants in Holland, they would often have like these ponds, like in the restaurants, these sort of like little, yeah, like little, uh, like aquarium things. And they would have these giant, I'm oh, really weird. They would have these giant goldfish in there. And I'm pretty sure that goldfish actually get, like the big ones get to be really old, like maybe hundreds of years even. Mm. Hi. Small goldfish. Yeah, they are cute. I wonder if they're having a party. This is a snail. Here you can buy all your accessory needs. Ooh, this animal will have a fancy car in it. Punch buggy. This is for the botfish. For the Doctor Who fan. There's not much petting going on yet, is there? It's like fish and food. Oh my god. Meerkat. Oh, look They're at those. Meerkats. No way you can buy a meerkat? Yes, you can buy a meerkat. No, you can't. You can. Can we buy one, please? Oh my god, I need a meerkat. Uh, I don't I trust her to take care of a meerkat. She can't even take care of her normal cats properly, so let alone meerkats. And I, I'm gonna guess a meerkat, talking of cats, come on then. Hey, naughty girl. Um, talking of meerkats, I'm sure that they're a lot more work than normal house cats. I bet they piss and shit everywhere as well. I'm not even kidding. Hi. Hi. These are like from... <laughs> How much is it? You're not kidding. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. No. Nope. We're eating. Hi. You like this one? Yes, I like this one. Can we hold it? Aww. Oh my god, they're cute. Here's the meerkats again. <laughs> it's a live guinea pig. Oh, I'm allergic to those. And they're not their mean, they don't like a pet them. I don't think. Look at this big one. Do rabbits make good pets? I know people have rabbits as pets. I heard they're quite vicious, no? They're like prone to biting and stuff. They don't seem like to be very fun pets, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I want a toucan. <clears throat> Look at this one. Hi. Oh, what a pretty bird. Birds are really difficult to keep, like parrots and stuff. People think like, oh yeah, I'll just have a bird, but um, 
they're very specific in their needs. And if they're unhappy, they like, they, they crap out of their cage and they pick their own feathers and um, they're really prone to depression and stuff like that. Plus they live a long time. I think parrots live like between 50 and like 80 years or something. I could, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they live a long time. But I've heard that they're uh, notoriously very difficult to keep as pets. It's not something that you should just, you think you can just have for a couple of years. Hi, hello. Hi, my <laughs> Yeah, but what do you do with it? He's hiding. He's hiding his head from us. Sleeping. Hi. I think this one wants to come home with us. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I love this bird. It's gonna bite me. They bite? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi. That's good. Look at these two cans. These are nice. Very gorgeous. Two can. Two can, but they're not for sale. These ones, yeah. I don't know, like, are you even allowed to have those kind of animals as pets over here? I, can't, I, I don't think, I, I mean, like, not over here in Bulgaria, but I mean in, like, in Europe, in America, Western Europe, I should say, because I imagine a lot of these animals are, um, are they, like, kind of, like, endangered? <laughs> I don't know, it's not often people have, like, tropical birds in their homes, like, toucans. Here we have this guy, grooming his feathers. Hello. 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 What's the chinchilla? love? They're quite vicious and all from understand. <laughs> These are two colours. Hello. Hi. Chinchina. Chinchina. You're gonna bite me. Ow. My job? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I deserved it. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. So cute. Where's the bird? Oh, look at their love birds. They're pretty. They're love birds, I think. This thing's over. Yes, look at Oh my gosh. It's me and you. Except for he doesn't touch you. These are not for sale. Some animals are not for sale. Hi. Hi. You're the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping, I think. So, a pet zone is a bit weird. It's like only birds. Whereas, like, the animals you can touch, like cats and dogs and stuff. I'm sorry about the coughing, I seem to have, I'm developing a little bit of a tickly cough. Hello. Look at these ones. Yellow birds. <laughs> yellow birds. So cute. Nice bit of yellow too. Look at them. Look at this dancing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I think they do that to try to impress the woman. Is it you? Aww. He's protecting the woman, see? Yeah, he's protecting the woman. Mm. That's his woman and he's... Female. Woman. I'm pretty sure that woman is for human females, not for animal females. Trying to impress her. He thinks they're gonna take her. Not real. That's why I got married to do that move. Keep finger in there, Chantel. That's gonna work out fine. Um, you need a napkin. Oh, my brother had one of these as a kid. It's a bearded iguana, isn't it? They're, they're quite cool. Whoa, look at this thing. Well, can I pet it? No. It's like a tough squirrel. Hi. <laughs> it's nice and air conditioned in here. I feel like I can Are these kangaroos? No, there's nothing really anything oh of substance in it, is it? Look at these. Hi. Like the They're little joeys. Wallabies? Oh my gosh. Called? Wallabies? They're from Australia. Yes. <laughs> Come on then. Um, a baby one is called a joey. Joey. Hello, Joey. How are you doing? Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, it's a lemur. It's a lemur. Hi. That looks like fun. Yeah, th these animals have their own house. Let the show begin. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Wow. They love to jump around trees. Oh. That's kind of what monkeys do, isn't it? <laughs> Hi. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he sees some shit, that lemur. Like, fucking all like shell shocks. <laughs> okay, we get the we get the point. The lemurs are fun. Hello. Hello, goat. Hi. Well, these things are cute. They're goats. Hey, yes, little goats. Mm. Do you like your house? It's a nice they make house. quite good pets apparently, goats. Nice. Oh, I've heard people having goats five. as pets before. Oh. See the house? <laughs> How much the rent? 
What a pretty guy. Bill's super happy. Hey guys, so unfortunately they were playing copyrighted music in the restaurant. I thought she was saying how she doesn't like restaurant food anymore after TGI Fridays and she wants to eat like a lot more local cooking. I mean, granted, she did eat enough for a family of 10 with their barbecue. But uh, yeah, the diet's going well in that. Restaurant, so I had to put some non copyright music in the background. That Coke is massive as well. Fucking hell. And I'll just explain what we had to eat. We stopped off for some Burger King after we visited Pet Zone. So to drink, I got a large 7 up. Pour up my. So if that's not a zero, I would dread to think how much sugar is in there. Wow. That's just what our, uh, our healthy uh, queen needs that doesn't have diabetes is to just drink basically liquid sugar. It's good, it's good for diabetes. Sippy Sprite. I can never tell the difference and I can't remember if Burger King uses Pepsi or Coke products, but it was huge. This is the Mushroom Swiss Burger. It has Swiss cheese, mayo and mushrooms. And Sala got the double chicken royal. He always gets with two chicken patties, cheese, and mayo. It's a good choice. It's actually a really legit sandwich I've tried. I mean, it looks all right, I guess, for fast food. It doesn't look that bad, but, uh, you know, considering all the food is so fresh and healthy and delicious over there, it would be better if she ate maybe from like a local restaurant as opposed to a Burger King. It's yum. We always get the curly fries. We also don't have those in Canada. And they're so delicious. I love curly fries. I've loved them since a kid. And honestly, I know you guys- Curly fries are nice though. I'll give it out. They are good. I hate the word fresh, but what else? What other adjective am I gonna use to describe the freshness of the food? The fast food is so fresh here. It's like, look how she, she's just like eating as though she's never eaten. She, like. She's eating as though she's just like climb, climb Mount Everest or something. She can't wait to just like stuff all that food into her mouth. Remember when she met Salah for the first time and it was all like dainty little bites and now we're just like gorging ourselves. All right, beauty bite, first bite for you guys. I was craving beef. I guess it depends on my mood. Are you guys like that? Chicken or beef, comment below. Is it? <clears throat> and now Salah's turn. That sounds like really it's big. Food and take a bite for you guys, looking handsome as ever. Yeah, controversial opinion. I don't really think he's that good looking, to be honest. He's not my type. He's got those slopey shoulders and stuff like that. I'm not really into, not really into men like that, to be honest. <clears throat> I don't think he's ugly or anything. I just don't, I've never thought he was particularly attractive and his personality is like quite dull, so. But, you know, I'm not the one that's married to him, so. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was so cute. There were so many different animals. I never expected like lemurs and toucans and kangaroos. Very cute. Yeah, exactly. Super cute. <laughs> you enjoyed? Too much. You wanted to buy me a bunny. <laughs> mm. There's no place for it. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if I can do that, to be honest. Probably not with all my boat in my face. <laughs> I actually want a lemur, but they're not for sale. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I'm not surprised that she's only getting like barely any views on this because it's fucking dull, isn't it? I think this, unless something exciting happens in the next vlog, I don't think I'm going to bother doing another reaction to this because it's... Wow. For somebody that's been a content creator that she's so proud of being and allegedly has been doing this for so long, um, yeah, it's not very exciting, is it? But there we go, anyway. At least you guys uh, got to see it through me, I guess. It will be a quick and easy video to edit. In fact, I might, I'll do a double upload today because this is going to take me no time to put together. So, on that note, I'm going to go and film some more videos. So, thank you very much for watching. Insert a kangaroo emoji if that exists. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.